W. Nimitz, who was the commander in chief of the U.S. Pacific Fleet during World War II. commissioned by the United States Naval Order and created by Oregon and Troutdale, uh, Ron Sculptor Rip Caswell, is going to be shipped to its next home in the next week, uh, to its permanent home, I should say, in Pearl Harbor. It's going to be placed next to the battleship USS Missouri, where more than one half million visitors every year go and pay honor to those events. And they will, uh, or they're planning an unveiling ceremony on September 2nd there in Pearl Harbor, and that will coincide with the anniversary, as you recall, of the, of the victory, the Allied victory, BG Day, BJ Day in 1945. And many of you probably remember that famous photograph with Admiral Nimitz seated on the deck of the uh, USS Missouri there in Tokyo Bay when he accepted the surrender. So see, this is a good reason to book a trip to Hawaii. Isn't there you it? go. <laughs> So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free. And the home of the brave. And we know what happened to them after the attack at Pearl Harbor. But immediately after the attack at Pearl Harbor, Roosevelt insisted, President Roosevelt insisted that uh, Nimitz be appointed the commander of the Pacific Fleet. Uh, he arrived in Pearl Harbor on Christmas Day, 1941, and he saw the damage and the destruction that was wrought by the, the attack, including the USS Arizona, which was his flagship in the mid-30s. He immediately began to organize his staff, take inventory of his assets, and craft a strategic plan for the war in the Pacific. At the, at the Battle of the Philippine Sea, there were 1,200 ships on both sides that participated in that battle. And if you want a comparison, uh, the Navy that these young folks are going into today have uh, 284 Battle Force ships total. Ring finger on the Admiral's left hand is missing half the finger. And as a young officer aboard a submarine, his hand got pulled into a gear and the only reason he didn't lose his hand was he had his Naval Academy ring on that finger. And uh, we did that properly, and I think if you turn around and take a look at the left hand, you'll see that. Rip, Chad, and Kathy, I'd like to present these certificates of appreciation for all of the work that you've done on this wonderful project and we're looking forward to seeing you out in Hawaii when we install it there. It has sculpted uh, a horseshoe that's to scale to Nimitz, life and a half, and uh, it says uh, on one side, NROTC Midshipman Douglas uh, Moore, and then on the other side, Fleet Admiral Chester Nimitz, uh, Kenningston, 1958. Admiral Nimitz's character he learned about a man uh, of humble demeanor who was often reticent to be labeled any kind of a hero uh, or even an important figure, unlike uh, maybe Admiral MacArthur and then uh, perhaps General Patton and some others of that time. Uh, it became Rip's mission then to 
to fully capture not just the look of the man, but the character of the man in bronze. Well, thank you so much. I am very honored to be here today and uh, to present this sculpture. And I'm very thankful. Um, the sculpture has been a journey for me, uh, a journey of understanding um, this great man, Admiral Nimitz, and, and really an understanding of a generation, you know, that we, we've coined the term the greatest generation. And, and as I researched it and, and started thinking about my own family, it, it brought a connection to me of my past and, uh, and more of a deeper appreciation for my own grandfather. Uh, who also served in the Navy. Thank you for allowing me to share a little of my World War II experience with you today. Even though I did not know Admiral Nimitz personally, his leadership and presence was felt throughout the Pacific area and strongly influenced the positive outcome of the war.